How's it going guys? My name's Graham and welcome to the brand new game Peregrine. Thank you to the developers for sending me the key. It's a story based puzzle game about an isolated traveler who has to use her arcane powers to make her way through the ruins of this old world. They call these dying lands the divide. A bitter waste born from a terrible disaster. Only scavenger tribes to remain. All hopes rest with those who undertake a perilous journey. Guided by an arcane prophecy, they seek salvation among the ruins. None have succeeded. And yet, again, one of the tribe's youngest has volunteered for the voyage. Abby's canoe runs aground upon the deserted shore. She adjusts the dials on her crude comms unit. I've reached the other side. It feels... haunted. You are entering the Divide, Abby. The tombland of a dead people. You'll find many echoes of their downfall. Be careful. There is danger in the ruins. I'm ready for it, Anatai. Others went before, believing the same. The Divide takes much from those who enter. But only those humbled by their ordeals can broker peace with the gods. The channel clicks off. Abby begins her march across the Divide's deadlands. I always like having fully voice acted games and narrated games. It always makes me think of Bastion. That was the first game I ever saw do it and they just did it so, so well. I like all these things I got trailing behind me here, my hair and my, my tassely cloak or scarf or whatever it is. So I'm isolated, but I still have some buddy, Amitai, who could talk to me. But maybe that's it. Maybe I'm out of reach now. Maybe there's no more talking to her. So I, the crux of my arcane powers is actually that you can inhabit the creatures of the world. And so for example, there's this big bulking huge dude over here. Probably I need to use him to lift something. Activate totems to energize an area. You can possess creatures within the totems area. Oh, so I can't use it just any time. And possessed creatures can help make a path for Abby. So now, oh shit. That uh, I did not realize that was gonna just be a, a full crack that I would fall straight through. Quite stupid of me. So activate the thing and now X. Ah, now from there I kind of take my possessing stance, and there we go, now I got a big, a grub troll, a big grub troll, they can lift heavy objects, carry them anywhere within the totems area, oh, so I guess maybe that's to stop me from just like running amok with these creatures, I can only use it in a very confined grid, move heavy objects to make a path. Well, this is all, this is all you troll, I believe in ya, look at that. Zero effort for him. You can just do a quick little like jig with it and he'll be fine. Apparently I have to put it here. These guys are very uh, Goron like. They're like Gorons if Gorons had more frog like heads. It's kind of the kind of the sense that I get from these guys. And there you go into the perfect little slot meant exactly for you. Uh well I Depossessed him, he won't attack me now, will he? Good, it's a world of friendly creatures. Hopefully I don't really have to worry about that in, in that case. I can zoom past that. I don't know, they look like guns? This is a weird, uh, anachronistic world here where th those look like they're guns that would come and, come and blast me. But at the same time, we got like arcane magics and weird creatures like big grub trolls. Uh, it seems like the story or the puzzle solving so far is very linear. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just where he, that's his go-to spot. Uh, I'll, I'll be interested to see if it branches out in a way that you can choose how to solve each puzzle. That's like my favorite type of puzzle solving, but it is, you know, quite difficult to make a game of that. 
it takes like so much planning from a developer to have that implemented, so I understand if that's not going to be the case. Uh, my first instance of combat, I don't exactly know how to attack yet. I'll just get a tutorial, I'm sure. The Guardians are restricted to battle zones. I wonder what's with zones in this game, if that'll have some significance. Like, if, if they'll explain it within the story, or if it's just... Ah, this is how they made the game, and don't worry about it. Time will stop when Abby enters a battle zone. Okay, cool. Use possession to turn enemies against each other. Oh shit, that could be cool, but I can I can still like fight as well, right? So I, I just hit A there. I didn't actually even have to hit move or anything like that. But now now it seems like that was just the first one, the first encounter. Now it seems more likely that battles are going to be treated more like puzzles almost. So I possessed one guy, and oh shit, hitting A makes him do the attack. Alright, and then I get to finish this guy off. Uh, so now this will be the same thing, right? I just kind of like zip between different guys here. So I'm going to want to possess him first and make him attack to get him like away from me. Oh, he lost. Oh shit, I didn't mean to run an attack. Oh well. Despite her powers, it is not easy to control. The clifftops ahead echo with more anguished shrieks. That battle was a little easier than I thought, because I when I accidentally hit attack instead of possess, I thought the other guy was gonna circle around and, and kill me, so that was a little bit easier to manage. Oh man, I hope that I can possess that ram and use him to bash these guys. Ah shit. I probably actually have to uh, have to do some quick fighting here then. Uh, I'll try and attack the first few guys. Get a quick possession. There we go. So you can kind of start chaining and get together the battle in a way that feels a little bit more fluid. So that's all right. Ah, he'll just need to ram over the bridge for me. I like uh, I like getting the different creatures. I hope there's plenty of creatures. I hope it's not like. Grub Troll, Cliff Goat, one other thing. I hope there's like a dozen or more or something. It just seems like it would lend itself well to like more complicated puzzles the more you have. They can ram glowing objects, hit them with force, and use this ability to help Abby access new areas. Probably pretty much everything is going to be about helping Abby access new areas. Any Anything that I do with any creature, that's probably going to be the, the end result. Oh, you're going to come across the bridge with me? You're like a little billy goat gruff, you've just been waiting to cross your bridge the whole time? Oh my god, is this a frog without legs? Oh, the totem things can be tiny as well. And look at that, it has like a tiny little radius to reflect that. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe this thing can lure other creatures because the guy's outside of the, the allowable radius right now. The nab toad. Move small objects around, lure creatures into totem areas, called it. Press buttons from afar. Uh, so he will just lick a tongue, people. You just irritate them until they come to where you want them to. Oh, oh, I nabbed his, his little summon thing. Oh, cool, now the summon things make more sense, like what the, uh, the grub troll had his too that I had noticed. All right. Oh, it looks like I have to go from the creature back to Abby, rather than going straight from creature to creature. I kind of wish that you could still do... that you could do creature to creature. It doesn't seem entirely necessary for the sake of the game, but... I kind of wish. Ah, uh, yeah, again. Oh, I can have both totems uh, active at once. Okay, that's... I have to worry about it, like, so much less then. I thought that I was I was going to be really stuck with... Uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to think ahead of how I was going to handle this, but it's not really, not really necessary. Like, do I have to put that down there? Am I going to... Okay, I didn't know he was going to shoot it with his tongue. I thought I had to walk right up to it. Man, this two-legged frog thing is just hilarious. He's pretty adorable. Can I possess from way over here? I can, I can. Yeah, the fact that it's like here is exactly where you put the rock. Can't it can't you let me like goof around with it a little bit? Although maybe like placing it precisely is a little bit like maybe it doesn't work a hundred percent the way that they wanted it to in like testing. 
people were making mistakes too often and getting frustrated with it. In which case, if that was their workaround, then I can I can appreciate that. What we got here? Couple things to ram. And where am I trying to make my way towards? Like, I'm gonna have to move that rock for some reason, aren't I? The wind what did I find? Beats against a withered tree rising from the cliff edge ahead. Its prominent outline, visible from afar, had guided Abby from the tribe's enclave shelter to these shores. Okay, there's just little story elements to interact with as well. I can get, I can get down with that. Let's see. Oh, as soon as I de possess that guy, he's gonna come back. Can we cross the bridge at the same time? Good. <laughs> It'd be a little bit frustrating if you couldn't. Oh, there's no way to bridge this gap. Somehow I hadn't figured that out before. All right, Froggy Man, the Nab Nab Toad. Is that what it was called? We're we're in need of your help. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not gonna reset the whole area, is it? Oh shit. Ah, uh, come on, just reset the toad. Don't make me redo everything. But that was uh, very stupid of me. I I was trying to look ahead to see if there's like a little that little plant thing up next to the grub troll, and so I kind of took my eyes off of the toad, and then I just uh, walked him off the cliff there. Oh, there, there's the uh, there's what we need. It's up here. So if I I go grab that from across the way, perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, that's all I needed you for, buddy. That was even easier than I thought it would be. Turns out I didn't even, I didn't even have to walk you across that bridge and over there where you met your, your death. So, uh, sorry. Sorry for making you go away that wasn't actually necessary. A very, very not worthwhile death. So that's, that's on me. That's my bad. I, I feel quite guilty. Wait a fucking second. Did this ram just die? Oh, he looks like he's just taking a nap. I thought this fucking thing maybe just died. <laughs> it's just kind of like laying there. And its legs are all bent up in weird directions. I had made, like, maybe the possessions from Abby takes a toll on these creatures. And eventually they just can't, can't stand it anymore. Whoops. Uh, there we go. I thought I had taken the time to line it up properly. But I guess you gotta give it that extra half a second just to make sure... Make sure it's all crystal cool before you go making the switch. Onwards we go, Abby. Oh, cool. I always like uh, when games kind of do perspective shifts like this. Like, I'm fine with the game being 100% isometric, but... For the first time in days, she hears her father's voice. I don't mind when the game's all isometric, but I do like getting the new perspectives. It just kind of... It gives you a better sense of space and world and a good good opportunity to show off cool landscapes and stuff. It just kind of just kind of makes the world feel more alive. It can start feeling a little samey, you know, if you're looking at it the same way all the time. Like now for the first time, I can see that there's like two suns here or maybe those are like other planets or something. I don't entirely know, but it's the first real look we've had at anything other than kind of the ground. I can't push the fear from my mind, Abby. Don't worry, Father. My powers are stronger now than when I left. I'll resist the gods' toll. I hope you're right. Those who went before couldn't do it. All that their minds held was taken from them in the divide. The gods showed no mercy. The strongest must attempt the crossing. There's no other way. I always feared you would volunteer one day. After Isaac left, you became so focused on your training, your powers grew quickly. My... Isaac is not why I volunteered. It was always hard for you to speak about him. The Divide has already taken so much from... I... I try not to think about it. I should keep moving. Abby stifles a tear, breaking the otherwise hollow silence. She repacks her comms unit and resumes her progress. So am I kind of making my way through this ruined world in the hopes of finding uh, like a, a new place to colonize or 
yeah, it's, uh, I'm not entirely clear on it, but... See, there's some interesting shit going on in this world. Like, that is a massive gun. In, like, some kind of castle or something? Like, I'm not sure exactly what that... Oh, I did not expect that to be, like, a spell cast unit. Can I possess them if they're going to be shooting at me from so far away? Cool. Uh, now it's going to be awfully hard to... Yeah, I got to use the first guy as a shield. I thought he was so close to me I had to take him out first. Um, yeah, there's, like, whatever this castle is. Whoops. Wrong button. Yep, yeah, that's a, that's another death. And there's just these massive guns defending from, I don't know, like, airships or something like that? Like, pretty damn cool. Curious what it could be. Wow, that thing is strong. It somehow could survive several of these blasts, yet I'm, I'm able to, to kill it in one sweet stab. Guess all that hard training paid off. Ooh, maybe I get to hear a bit about it. Before Abbey falls, an immense fortress laid to waste. It's laid to waste by what? The words, we who master Oblion master our fate. What remains of the crumbling ruin suggests otherwise. Abbey wonders what sort of disaster befell these people. Why have the gods punished them so? Or is it just like a war with other people? Hard to say. Oh, that was a challenging puzzle. <laughs> really hard to wrap my mind around that one. Oh, what you doing inside here? You just come in, you just, you just like to chill here, do ya? Hmm. Look at all these missiles and everything. God damn, what is up with all this? Oh, I can't actually activate that until I get down there. Alrighty then. This is, uh, this is getting more complicated. In a way I wasn't entirely expecting. Oh, here's another, here's another switch. Just like the one outside there. I, I saw it earlier, but I thought that maybe it was, like, a, still the door switch. That it wouldn't be something I would actually need to use. It would be like, oh, that's how you close the door again. But no, I found my way in. All right, time to start keeping an eye out for more, I guess, like, environmental stuff like that. Now, let's see. What could I need to be doing here? Oh, oh, because they're on a different level. It doesn't actually count. The toad doesn't affect the toad guy. All right, I, I thought maybe I would need this guy to stand on this, and it would make the other one... Oh, okay, not what I was expecting. I thought... I thought it was like um, some sort of panel that had to be pushed down and it would raise up the other one. Same end result, it's just not exactly how I thought it was going to work. Right, uh, yep, I see now what I was meant to do. I have to go get on the panel first. So uh, you, you quickly grab that, we'll put that back over here, and then, and then Abby can catch a sweet ride. That would be fun. She should just, like, really hop on the back of one of these things, permanently possess it, and just make it do everything. I mean, I guess she must be a kind person, because if she really wanted, like, when she needs a bridge, rather than possessing a ram and making it do it, she could just, like, carelessly make this grub troll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like have him lay down across the cliff opening and then like he can struggle to get back up after and whether or not he actually does it, that's uh, you know, that's just kind of depends on how good he is at what he does. If he maybe happens to just fall into the cliff on, on the way, on the way back up, uh, he's disposable. These, these grub trolls are a dime a dozen. They're all over the place. But no, she must be a nice enough person to not be doing Be that sort of thing. The first of the sacred monoliths. Follow their waypoints to the home of the vengeful gods. There you must deliver our atonement. None of the others made it that far. None mastered the Elohim as you have. The Elohim must be like my arcane power? Not even Isaac. He was strong like you, but it still wasn't enough. He didn't make it. He 
you must not allow grief to distract you, Abby. Hurry now. There are many challenges ahead. Amitai suspends the comms transmission. Abby surveys the damaged hangar, plotting her traversal. Hmm, got something we can check on over here. Balancing her footing, Abby peers into the chasm. Sliced steel and churned concrete spiral without end into the hellish abyss. Every rupture and break testifies to a previous encounter with some unfathomable and unforgiving force. Hmm, seems like something I most certainly don't want to mess with. How do I how do I get up on this platform here? The creatures in this world are awfully chill. They just kind of sit around. Well, maybe I just leave to this next area and flip a switch or two. Mmm, this could be a multi-room puzzle that I gotta deal with here. There, that went quite well. First attempt on that guy. All right, let's see here. Let's start. Let's start activating us some totems. Let's see what we can get away with. What? I can't actually cross that. It's not low enough to cross. But I guess maybe maybe he can cross it. Hmm. And then he can just move. I guess he can't cross that still. Oh, but the wall would have been in the way for the possession. You have to have like a clear line of sight for the possessions. So that's all that that was moving that was good for. Uh, and do I need to move this other one too? I guess I, I guess I do. I'm presumably going to have to fight my way through those cr creatures. Can't I just use this guy to fight them? Oh, now having set places to put your to put your items is starting to like have a role in the puzzles because now Abby can't run back that way I'm not sure if she would need to exactly but she can't and this guy I guess will seek out the most easily accessible troll hang place so he just kind of sticks around there oh shit two two ranged guys huh well I can possess you and what if I send what if I just throw you off the cliff there? Oh god damn. Okay. That wasn't how I thought that would play out. But hey, it made it so that uh, that one shot was aimed not at me, so that's good. Ah, oh, damn, now I don't see how I can get the final one here. Oh, please don't reset everything. Good, good, good. It just resets the battle. Alright, I'm gonna possess you, far off lady. And you're going to attack her, and maybe now I possess him and send him over there? Damn it. Right. Alright, you have to attack the one that I can't get at. There we go, and that guy automatically targets the one he's possessed, even if it isn't attacking him. I wasn't sure if, it, if that's exactly how that would work. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, really? I can't... I thought I would have a good line of sight. There we go. It, it actually does de uh, depend on where, I, where I'm standing. That actually does matter. And there, that one did a full lower. So I should go back to here. You can see a wire tracing all the way from the top right there. And that must trace back to the other room. Uh, there looks like there's also like a story thing. Again, Abby feels the uneasy effects of the rock totem's proximity. These rock totems make her uneasy? The throbbing pain at the back of her skull twists yet again as her Elohim senses sharpen further. So are they, are they making her stronger or are they kind of messing her up? That's, uh, I'm a little uncertain on that. Oh man, I could have, I could have possessed the troll from up here. So we don't have to be on the same level, just have to be able to have that good line of sight. There we go. When we first entered that room, the guy mentioned that I was at, like, the first monolith. And so I guess that's... I'm not sure exactly what my goals are, how many monoliths there are. I think this game has... it was five chapters? Six, maybe? So I'm not sure if this first monolith will be, like, end chapter one. Hey, so one of the totems 
from each room here, one behind and this one ahead here, the, the totals are, are spilling over into this room. That's kind of neat. Um, but I don't know if this will be the end of one chapter. I kind of decided that that would be where I took things to, just playing through till, till then, I guess. Uh, so I don't know exactly what needs to be done, but I see that there's a, a bridge piece that needs to be knocked over, so I'll take care of that. Abby needs to hitch a quick ride up here once again. Do a fun little barrel ride. So grub, Grubby, Grubby the Grubber, you come give that a quick grab. You Grubby Grabber and place me down over here, please. Thank you very much. Oh, maybe I had to use that on like this frog or something. Oh no, he's got, he's got a control panel that he needs to flick around. So you just give that panel a quick lick. So presumably I'm at the end of the first chapter here. Cool, cool. Got a new, cool new like vista area here. Another one of these bridge sequences. Rises from a clear oh fuck! Monolith. This is the monolith. It's massive. I I thought that it was just gonna be kind of like a a little bit bigger of like a totem or something. Damn. Abby approaches the hallowed form. Slowly, she reads the script etched into its facade. The peace had lasted for millennia. It had been so long that the humans began to forget the immense power of the gods watching over them. Then, deep within the ground, the Oblion was discovered. The Oblion offered the humans what they had always wanted most, a life without death. The Oblion crystals were the ancient remains of the gods' ancestors. But the humans, encouraged by its intoxicating power, ignored this warning. They seized the Oblion for their own ends. Damn you greedy humans. So the world collapsing is your own fault? And maybe everything is in ruins because the gods were kind of pissed about that? And they, they came and attacked everything? Like they, they were probably the ones who wiped out this massive fortress if I had to guess. Abby absorbs the monolith's testimony as she walks. A vision of it swells in her mind. What had unleashed this flood of ruin? She tries not to think about Isaac, but his absence weighs upon her with the ache of an amputation. Two years have done nothing to change that. I don't know if Isaac is a relative or if he's maybe just like a, a good friend. I'm starting to wonder if it's a, a brother, maybe. Which is pretty, pretty damn sad. But there you have it guys, first monolith, that is actually the end of chapter one. I, I kind of like doing these casual playthroughs now and again, a game a game that's not all about cracking jokes and big lively moments, just a serene kind of thoughtful meditative bit of gameplay and so I, I'm really into that right now. Like this cool misma mismatch of like uh, uh, this woman who uses these arcane powers but there's also like missiles and stuff everywhere there's magic crystals there's monoliths it's a uh, it's a cool world that they got laid out and it's, it's peaceful to explore and just uh, a little bit of puzzle solving so i hope you guys are enjoying it it's only five chapters if the chapters are all as long as this then it'll be a pretty pretty breezy little playthrough so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think of peregrine so far and i'll see you again soon